to sign up for the USMLE, but it's been a big pain so far, check this video out. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hafsa Suleiman. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a third year medical student. And in today's video, I thought we'll talk about how to sign up for the USMLE. And the reason why I'm making this video was because when I was signing up for the USMLE, I found it very annoying that I couldn't find a YouTube video about it. And basically, this is how I use YouTube. If I need to know how to use something, a software, a piece of equipment, or signing up for something, I like having the YouTube video on the side as I go through the thing step by step. So let's get started. And by the way, all the steps and all the links for this video will be in the description below. So if you get lost in the video or anything gets confusing, feel free to check out the description below. And just a disclaimer, for those of you who don't know, you need to sign up to sit the US Emily six months before the actual date. Even if it's a year before the actual date you want to sit it, you can do the steps and then stop at a certain point. Then basically at some point you get the eligibility period. So it gives you a three month eligibility period. For instance, it would be like June, July, August. And basically you have that three month period to decide when exactly you want to pick the test might go a little bit over your head but basically what i'm trying to say is sign up early because there are so many steps associated with signing up for the usmle and with that we're going to begin so step number one is getting your ecfmg id So I've got a USMLE ID, so I'm not going to insert it at the moment, but basically here's the details that you need. You put in your name, your date of birth, uh, your medical school, and always remember, do not use your school's email address. Use an external email address that you know will not close down once you're done with medical school. Basically, you submit this form, and what's really nice about ECFMG is that they keep sending you confirmation emails saying that you've submitted the application, and then you wait for about a week, and then you get this email. And in this email, it gives you your identification number. They also send you another email giving you your password, and then this password can be used to go back to ECFMG. You're putting in the password, you're putting in the ID that they now gave you, and you go log in now. You click on USMLE step one or step two CK, and you pay a fee to start acquiring your permit. From memory, that was about 145 bucks. What's really nice about ECFMG is that they send you an email after every step. So they sent me an email after I made the payment saying that I have to download form 186 and they give you the link. So as you can see on the screen, these are, this is what they sent me and they send you, they send you some um, links uh, where you can download form 186. This is kind of what it looks like. I can't find it on my computer anymore, but it was such an easy process. So you book a time and from memory, I found the time on the same day, which was really handy. And basically all I needed to do was have my ID handy on me. I had to get have good Wi-Fi. The lady that I had was super lovely. She made life heaps easy. She told me to download this app. I just had to put my passport right next to my face and she confirmed my identity and then I had to sign a form which was also online on this app and she confirmed everything and sent it to ECFMG and then I got this message saying that it's been received and they said that it would take two weeks to accept it. Once that's sorted you go back online and then you have to book for your test permit. You pay a fee of about 940 bucks if you're in the United States if you're outside the states it is different it's a different price based on when you're going to be and it gives you a permit basically for an eligibility period because of the pandemic some of us had an extended eligibility period but it is typically about three months so it would be for instance june july august or september october november etc so you've got a three month window where you can book the test on any day and then if you need more time, you need to book for an extension. Now, this scheduling permit can take a very long time. I remember being super stressed, thinking, when am I gonna get it? It can take about two weeks, sometimes it can take up to a month. 
So for sure, if you know when you wanna sit the test, I would say definitely apply in advance. Then they send you an email about your eligibility period. And then you get this beautiful other email with the exam permit, which is this PDF document. It also has a scheduling number on that, which you can use to access ProMetric. And this is how you book a date. Once you sit the exam, it takes about two weeks. Sometimes it takes about a month to get your results. So I hope this video helped you guys. I will definitely be recording things as I go from the next video onwards. I This was pre my YouTube days. I've got all the steps in the description below. If you guys have any questions, feel free to send me a text, shoot me an email, send me a message on Instagram, whatever may help you. Good luck with booking your exam. One thing that I would highly, highly recommend is that if you know for sure that you're gonna be sitting the USMLE, I would highly recommend much, much, much before sitting the USMLE, get to the notary cam step, confirm your identity, and then keep studying until you're confident. Once you're confident, book that three month eligibility window so that you don't have to spend more money extending that period. And then you can book your exam date. Also bear in mind for those of you who are in countries with a single testing center. So I know that if you're in the States or in Canada, usually the summer period is where other students would sit the USMLE so that can book up very quickly. But if it's any other time during the year, it's pretty cruisy. You can get many available spots. If you cancel, if you cancel the exam today, for instance, you can sit it tomorrow and it's gonna be easy peasy. But for those of you who are gonna sit the exam overseas in your respective countries, there are so many problems that can happen with your um, with your exam center if there's a single exam center especially with the coronavirus there are limited spots available so I would definitely say book in advance anyway I hope this video helped you guys smash the like button below if you like this video insert some comments if you have anything else to add to other people that are applying for this exam or if you've got any questions and feel free to send me an email or a message on Instagram and hopefully I'll catch you next week